Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk. Welcome back to another unboxing video. It is that time of the month again where I start getting in my subscription boxes. And today's box is Accio. And I think they changed up the box. It looks, I, th I think it's longer and not deeper. But uh, so if you haven't seen it, please go subscribe to their Instagram channels. Yeah, I think it's been Magic Delivered. Find out all about us at AccioBox.com. So, if you don't know about AccioBox, if you're new to my channel, AccioBox is a Harry Potter monthly subscription box. It runs around 50 bucks. Um, and the way it works for Accio is I think it's 100 boxes a month that they do, that they curate. So the way they do it is if you're a subscriber already, at a certain point in the midpoint of the month, they charge your card. And then a couple days later, they will go and open it up to everybody. So people that have, if they have people that month that canceled their subscriptions, or if when they went to charge the cards and they didn't it bounce back, I guess if you want to say it, they'll open up that amount of spaces for the new people. So it's a fun box. This one is the one of two Harry Potter boxes that I get. I also get Wizard's Vault. Wizard's Vault is more of, I'll say the commercialized market for Harry Potter, where Accio is more of, <coughs> excuse me, more of, um, you know, kind of like that, um, I want to say handy, but uh, like the Etsy market, um, custom kind of Harry Potter stuff, not really over commercialized Harry Potter stuff is really what I'm trying to get at. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Yeah, they did change this box. It is longer. Because <clears throat> it's usually cut on the bottom, not at the top. But here we go. I'll turn it around. I know it's going to be the paper, but I always let you guys have first look just in case. It's tight. Just in case there's something showing. Oh, see? It's not the paper. Oh no, that's right, this does new paper. Thanks. Alrighty. So what did we got? It looks like we have a beanie. I will say guys, I'm not much of a beanie person, but you know, hey. I am it does get a little cold up there. <laughs> so, oh, so here we go. How does it look? <laughs> is it me? What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> so it is. There's what the logo. It's Hollyhead Harpies. I guess that's one of the um, the Quidditch teams, right? So I don't know. Do you guys whew, have a favorite Quidditch team? Who is it? <sighs> See, I'm just messing this beanie all up. <laughs> let's take it off for now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's put it over here. Oh. It's peppermint. Peppermint toad. Now, with all things Accio Box, there's usually something that goes along with this and there's a box right by it. So let's go ahead and pop this box out. Let's see what, there's all kinds of their paper and stuff. So yeah, so let's go ahead. Ooh, let me be careful. That is nice. So that is a heavy mug, let it snow. So this is, you know, you know, Christmas themed Hogwarts right there, which is pretty awesome. It's a hefty mug and I'm sure the peppermint toad goes in here to make some hot chocolate probably. Yeah, that is cool. So this is an Accio exclusive here, right here, guys. 
Accio exclusive invisibility blanket. So let's see. Sorry if you can hear Cotton. He's making himself comfortable over there. Oh, that thing feels nice. Mm, feels nice. <laughs> nice. Hope you guys can see all that. That's pretty cool. It's almost purple theme for. Do I disappear? <laughs> This is nice and soft though. Oh, oh. I like the Celtic knots on here. Oh. And the, you know, you got some Celtic knot work. The sun and the moon, it looks like, going around. It's pretty soft, but. Oh, we got a pin too. I almost missed this pin. Let me take it out of the bag so you guys can see it. I've fallen down the rabbit hole, guys. Um, I've started. I have like two people that have been at Disney World and Disneyland this week and they've been snapping photos of the new Star Wars pins out there. Of course when I get them I'll be doing an unboxing and showing them to you guys. But man yeah I've been falling down the rabbit hole for these pins. So that one's pretty cool. It's the you know um the little bash thing. Jeez. What is it called? Emit two. But that is awesome. Let me make sure I don't miss anything else because I think we're pretty much done. So, as always, here's the daily profit that they give us. You know, pause it. So, that, or the Accio profit, sorry, not the daily profit. Keeping cozy. There are lots of things to love about winter the holidays, the beautiful snow, lots of excuses to eat delicious food with friends and family and drink warm, sweet beverages out of your favorite mug, but let's be real, it's also cold as heck and sometimes all we want to do is curl up under a blanket and have a magical movie marathon. I've actually started re -list or listening to the Harry Potter books on the audiobooks, I just listened to the first one. Um, so let me know if that's something you want me to review, is how I feel about the audiobooks. This book, this box has you covered, literally, lots of items to keep you warm and toasty, comfortable and to enjoy the season. The Invisibility Blanket, which I'm wearing here, has a $25 value. While it might just might not enable you to sneak around undetected in the restric restricted section, this lap blanket will definitely keep you warm, keep you nice and warm on these chilly winter days. Our own interpretation of the infamous cloak features a magical celestial inspired design printed on a polyester plush material that's softer than a hundred puff, <laughs> puff skeins designed in your house in-house just for you your Accio box so you won't find it anywhere else use it well care instructions machine wash with light colors tumble dry on medium heat the Holly Harpies team spirit cap fun fact not only are the Harpies the only all witch team in the league, they are also the second oldest, founded all the way back in 12, 1203. Support, show your support for Jenny and her team of fierce film athletes with this warm knit cap, featuring a team logo designed in collaboration with artist Wade Kelly of Work Wagon Designs. And that was a $15 value, so we're up to $40, so the box is almost paid for itself right there. U-Ball ticket, that's what I, I can remember is the U-Ball. Exclusive enamel pin. Get your dress robes pressed and practice your waltzing your, uh, waltzing skills because we're giving you a ticket to the U-Ball. Just remember to be your, on your best behavior. We won't have you acting like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. This lovely two inch double clutch glitter enamel pin was designed just for your subscribers so you won't find it in any shop. And then that was a $12 value. <coughs> And then the snowy castle mug, stoneware mug. Who wouldn't love to see the school in the winter time when it would be covered in glittering snow like an ice gingerbread castle? We wish you, we wish we had a port key to transport you there. But this pretty image, hand illustrated by CEO Christina, is the next best thing. Holds 15 ounces of your favorite warm drink, hand washed, steer clear of the microwave to preserve the design. 
and that was a $15 value. And then Peppermint Toad Hot Cocoa Powder, which is great because I love hot chocolate and I do love peppermint. It's a $3 value. So this delicious vegan drink mix features our favorite flavor or winter flavor combination, chocolate and peppermint. Named after iconic candy from the series, our peppermint toad hot cocoa was crafted just for this box by Sajak's Organic Chocolates, a vegan chocolatier based in California. You can find more flavors on their website at sjaaks.com. To mix your perfect cup, Warm a cup of milk or vegan milk alternative on the stove top over medium heat. Add two teaspoons of your favorite cocoa mix and stir until thoroughly combined. Pour your favorite into your favorite mug and enjoy. All right, guys. So that was our mug, or our box for December. It is really good. Like I said, I kind of love like the blanket or the invisibility cloak. It's nice and soft. And it's been getting cold up here, so <laughs> I'm sure I will be using it. Um, again, I, I love, I appreciate cups and stuff like that. I'm not a big cup drink, you know, having my own cup of coffee or chocolate, you know. It'll, so maybe I will gift the cup for the season. Um, I do like the hat, though I'm not really too much of a beanie person, but it is fun. I do, you know, will support Jenny. So, but I do like the pin. The pin I thought was is really cool design. You know, so maybe that's probably my favorite of this box. Will be the pin because I am starting a pin collection. I need to like get, get a pin display box or something. Um, so that will probably be my favorite one, followed up by the blanket. But let me know down in the comments below, guys. What was your favorite thing out of this box? Um, and are you a subscription to the Echo Box? And being the month of December and giving stuff away, I am still having my contest to give away this box lunch exclusive All Might Week in the State Glow in the Dark Funko Pop. So, what do you have to do to win this pop? There's two things. One, be a subscriber to my channel. And of course, like always, I say in my videos, in my videos switch your subscription from private to public. If I can't tell that you're a subscriber to my channel, you will not be entered into my giveaway. I will leave in the description down below how you change it from private to public. And second, just answer the simple question. What was your favorite thing in this box? And around December 31st, January 1st, one of those time frames, I will announce the winner. I'll go live on YouTube and give it away. Uh, make sure you follow me on my social medias because that's when I'll post up the time that I'll give do my giveaway. Um, I also put all my social media links down below, but guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you at the next review.